How's it going, league members? YTBA. You're the best round. Week number four was in the books. Uh, we're going on to week number five. And today is Thursday. Now, Jay's not with me today. You guys know me as the Kamish. YouTubers know me as Local John 1812. But Jay Rod's not here today. Uh, Team Baker to do the video with me. We'll do our other regular sports video uh, possibly tomorrow. But tonight's just going to be me real quick to go over the fantasy standings, point standings, and to make sure you guys are keeping track on your teams, uh, substituting out with injuries and stuff. Uh, briefly tonight before we get into the standings and points, uh, Rob Gronkowski is not going to play. So if you have Gronk on your team, maybe you should already known, but you probably shouldn't play him. Um, if you have anybody on your team tonight that's playing, you might want to check your roster and check for the Patriots or Tampa Bay players because they're playing tonight. And you want to make sure that uh, you have the right people in that are not injured or whatever might be the case. As mentioned, Some, something, whatever. You just need to take a look at it. Also take a look at it for, uh, go ahead and take a look at it for Sunday and Monday games. Never know what happens in between now and Monday night, but just go ahead and start paying attention. Everyone should be doing that every week. Uh, and also, too, to make sure that everyone is also uh, getting on the waiver wires and uh, make sure they're being active on there. Uh, I don't care if your team is in the top four right now or in the in the very at the bottom of the basement. If you want to make your team even better each week, you should be improving it. Now, if you've got a stud core of people and you don't really feel like waiver, I understand that. But if you're on a losing streak or you need a few more points, the only way you're going to get it besides the trade is the waivers. So let's get into the standings this week. After four weeks, um, this is the way the standings go. Vinegar Strokes is 4-0. Team Beasley is sitting in second place at 3-1. Enormous Ditka is sitting in third place at 3-1 or tied for second, however you want to look at it. Uh, I'll show you the separation here in a second. Uh, this is tied for fourth if you want to look at it. Um, Basically, you could say 4, 5, 6, but you, it says tied for 4th in the standings, but it would separate eventually. Uh, team Kamish, myself, 2-2. Two and two. Team Baker, 2-2. Two and two. Team Henning, 2-2. Two and two. And then setting in, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Setting in 7th place, Team Wooly by himself at 1, 2, and 1. Uh, setting in 8th place, or tied with 8 with 5 rings, but you, maybe just setting in 8th place, Team Smith, 1 and 3. 5 rings is... Also one and three, and setting in the basement is multiple gorgasms. Oh, three and one. Okay. Uh, what separates eventually before the playoff starts is total points that you scored. So um, it's not points allowed; it's points for. So if you look over in our standing, scroll over, uh, you can see winning percentages. The first points column uh, that shows you there. Uh, I think even on a computer screen, you might be able to separate it where it would break it down instead of by standing, but by points ranking. So these people that were tied, uh, the reason why, if you look on the listing, the reason why it has Vinegar Strokes, Beasley, Enormous Ditka, then Team Kamish, uh, Team Kamish is ahead. Myself, is I'm ahead of Baker and Henning, even though we're all 2-2 two and two because I've scored more points. So that's why. So let's get into the point standings then so we know what's going on. This is just not the whole standings for everybody. This is only the top five. Okay, guys? Top five. So Vinegar Strokes uh, leading the league in the record. He's also leading the re league in... Uh, most points, he has 438. Uh, team Commission, myself, even you know, this is what I'm telling everybody, stick with your team no matter what your record is because here I am sitting in basically fourth place, but I'm le I'm second in points. Uh, I have 420, so I'm only 18 off the lead in points, and we know with the standings and the point standings what that all means at the end of the year. Uh, so stick with your teams, guys. Uh, team Beasley, they're sitting in third in points at 395. Enormous Ditka is sitting fourth at 383. And Team Smith, who's all the way down here basically in eighth place, is in top five in points, 351. So that's my whole point. I always say this every week. And I say it because fantasy leagues everywhere, guys. Uh, and our league is no slouch to it. We've had a couple people in the past give up on their teams. That's why the points thing was put in place. Because let's say you lose them like – the first seven games, right, or so, but you stayed competitive, and then you go on a winning streak. It may not be enough to get you into the playoffs, but during that winning streak, you may score a tremendous amount of points and become points champion. So at the end of the day, always stay with your team. You never know who's going to be the big uh, breadwinner for you. Heck, I put in Greg the leg last week from uh, the Rams, and um, 
because uh, the kicker for KC went out. I get the kicker from the Rams off the waiver. He puts up a 27 spot for me. So you, you just don't know who you're going to get it from, uh, what's going to happen. So the important thing is to keep plugging away at your teams. So we know the standings. We know the point standings. Uh, Team Baker says he's sorry, or J-Rod says he's sorry for not being here tonight, but we'll be back next time together doing our regular show um, for the league. And don't forget, Thursday night football tonight, 725 start time. You better get on it. Um, Don't forget about Sunday and Monday night. Check your players. Check your rosters. Get busy, guys. So keep up on your teams. All right, I'm going to send this out to everybody. I hope you get it. Guys, uh, most people who watch my YouTube channel, this will be up for them. Uh, They can see it too. They're not really going to hit the like button or even watch this one that much. So all the league members, hit the like button. So if I get five of you to watch the thing like I usually do, all five, please hit the like button. Don't hit the thumbs down and be rude. I know some of you joke around and do it. But no, please, if you can't hit the like button, it'll pop it up a little bit. That would be nice for me. I appreciate it. So, all right, guys. See you um, next week on Thursday with another update. But until then, later.